So we are living, as it were, on many, many levels of rhythm. This is the nature of change. If you resist it, you have dukkha, you have frustration and suffering. But on the other hand, if you understand change, you don't cling to it and you let it flow, then it's no problem, it becomes positively beautiful. Which is why in poetry, the theme of the evanescence of the world is beautiful. When Shelley says, the one remains, the many change and pass. Heaven's light forever shines, earth's shadows fly. Life, like a dome of many colored glass, stains the white radiance of eternity until death shatters it to fragments. Now what's beautiful in that? Is it heaven's light that shines forever? Or is it rather the dome of many colored glass which shatters? See, it's always the image of change that really makes the poem. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps on life's petty pace from day to day. Somehow, you know, the poet has got the intuition. The fact that things are always running out, that things are always disappearing, has some hidden marvel in it. The Japanese have a word, yugen, Y-U-G-E-N, which has no English equivalent whatsoever. And yugen is in a way digging change. It's described poetically. You have the feeling of Yugen when you see out in the distant water some ships hidden behind a far-off island. 